Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in Birmingham within one hour. Matthew Fowder. This guy was a lecturer at Birmingham City University. He was born in Manchester but raised Nutsford in Cheshire. He was a very clever man. He was convicted in 2017 for 137 charges from 48 victims, making him one of the most prolific sex offenders in the UK. In February 2018, he was jailed for 32 years and ordered to serve a minimum of 25 years. He actually encouraged the rape of children. He used blackmail so he'd pretend to be young children online and then when children sent him pictures, he'd blackmail them to get more. He was into voyeurism and he also made indecent images of children and sold them on a website, which is where this story leads to. What, 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 so what, what was it I've done? Oh, what was it? I'm supposed to have done so. The, the offences that I've arrested you on suspicion of being involved in yep. were blackmail, causing or inciting a child to engage in sexual activity, possessing indecent images of children, sounds like the rap sheet from hell, distributing indecent images of children, and causing GBH injuries to a person. His arrest was the reason why this whole paedophile ring was taken down worldwide. Matthew Fowler hid behind anonymous accounts on the web and reposted images to gain a higher status on the dark web. His alias was 666 Devil, and this is what he'd do like you get credit among other abusers by posting really bad pictures. He shared them on a website called Hurtcore, and the National Crime Agency described him as one of the most depraved offenders they have ever encountered. Matthew's offending went back to his early as 2009 he did not actually meet or physically touch any of his victims everything he was done was over the dark web matthew manipulated young men women and children to photograph themselves in compromising positions and then offered the images up online in april 2015 the nca discovered someone posting to the website under the name 666 devil who turned out to be matthew Fowler. nca officers arrested him at his place of work he doesn't actually say this on wikipedia but he was at a university in birmingham took over 30 minutes to read out the charges at Birmingham Crown Court. Is there any other email accounts, Matthew, that you're using at the current time? No comment. If there are any more email accounts, what are the passwords for? No comment. Have you done that? No comment. Have you sent pictures of your blackmail victims to the parents? No comment. Of the victim? The grandparents? No comment. The workplace? No comment. The schools? No comment. Did you get any sexual gratification of that? No from comment. That? Or was it a power and control thing, Matthew? No comment. Or was it humiliation? No comment. You go on to say, and so you know, I know I'm 100% anonymous. He was originally charged with 188 offences. He pleaded guilty to 51 of them, and, and the rest of them remain on file, to lie on file. So if his names ever ran for the system, this will come up. He has not been convicted for all of them. Another man from Britain that was part of this paedophile ring was Kyle Fox. He's 26 from Surrey. He admitted attacking children and recording the abuse of them. He denied posting any of the footage online, and his victims were under five years old. And as it's emerged today, I'll be reading from the Metro, the the other two stories are from different papers. 330 perverts have been detained after the discovery of a website from this case, Matthew Fowder's case. The global operation brought down a complex network of perverts, allegedly sharing child abuse videos and images on the dark web. They were all connected to the Welcome to Video site, that's the actual name of the site, which contained more than a quarter of a million, 250,000 videos. Following the arrest and subsequent conviction of the UK's worst ever paedophiles, Dr. Dr. Matthew Fowder. The investigation that followed led to Jung Woo Sun, who was 23 years old from North Korea. He ran the website. He was charged in the US and was jailed yesterday in his home country. The other 337 arrests were made in the United Kingdom, Ireland, the US, Germany, Spain, Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, the Czech Republic, and Canada. So this shows the sheer extent 
that child abuse and paedophiles are online and the way that this is like a playground for them. Seven men in Britain have already been convicted, seven, and I already spoke about Kyle Fox, the 26-year-old. He was jailed for 22 years in March for the rape of a five-year-old and he posted the video online. People using the website would use Bitcoin, the, the cryptocurrency, and receive credits if they shared their own collection of abuse and their identities on the site were hidden by a Tor browser, which is a very basic thing you can buy to just hide your identity while you're searching online it's not very difficult to get officers from the national crime agency used the cryptocurrency transactions to track down sun and the hundreds of users in march last year officers traveled to south korea to help with sun's arrest and take down the servers which supported his site the nca manager jason booth said the site itself did not focus on the abuse of children and but this site had the worst child abuse put on it it requested users to pay cryptocurrency to view images or they had their own collections and people could pay to view them and build up credit online with the video site. The director of the website said dark web child sex offenders, some of whom are the worst offenders, cannot hide from law enforcement. They are not as cloaked as they think they are and they are not as safe as they think they are. The NCA is relentless in pursuing them and have specialists working in this field. But can this seriously ever be enough to protect the children that are being abused? every day we don't assume that professors and doctors are going to be the ones that are going to be abusing your children online and this is the sad fact is that we assume so much nowadays that we seem to just forget that we need to just take precautions and be very careful online and with our children so this is a great news that this massive pedophile international pedophile ring has been taken down but how many more are out there and how much are we doing to make sure that our children are safe online so this video will probably not be monetized this subject will be classed as sensitive so please don't forget you can always donate via the website any amount really helps there's a link in the description i really appreciate you joining me today and please don't forget there's plenty more news on the way scarcity studios youtube channel peace thank you